Phosphor.Fans, fans, we're back celebrating 30 years of the original Nintendo Game Boy and some of the early titles that I really dug on this handheld Marvel. You have to keep in mind that at the time this thing really was a Marvel. The closest thing we had had before that was the Milton Bradley Microvision, which was less of a Marvel. I'm trying to be charitable there. They tried. But, uh, but not quite. However, <laughs> that being said, let's have ourselves a little bit of elevator action going on. Now, this game was released a couple of years into the lifespan of the Nintendo Game Boy. But for those of us who were raised on 80s gaming and loved it dearly, suffered <laughs> numerous uh, rather lumpen attempts to do these games on Although it does make some changes, as you can see, I took three or four hits there without dying. So, obviously, uh, they were reinterpreting the classics through, uh, you know, kind of the... I don't know if it's really the Mario lens or the Zelda lens. Sorry, I'm having a lot of fun with this. <laughs> so I'm, I'm forgetting to talk at times. Oh, hey, how you doing? Uh, 
one thing that the arcade game does not have is the ever-changing array of weapons. also a, a, uh, a decent port of Mr. Doo on the original Monochrome Game Boy. So, the, you know, black, white, and a couple of different shades of gray, that was not going to stop anyone from continuing to capitalize on their IPs from the heyday of the arcade. And so... There you have Elevator Action on the original Game Boy. Join us again later. We'll continue to uh, continue to play some Game Boy classics from the monochrome days as we continue to celebrate 30 years of that little machine that really was something of a marvel. Mm-hmm. 